Hello friends. Welcome to Preschool Junction at Home. Today we're going to talk about when Jesus returned to heaven, he sent the Holy Spirit to, upon his disciples so that they could continue to do his work. And it was through his name that Peter was able to heal a lame man. You know, not even the religious leaders could stop the Christ followers from sharing the good news. Our story today is about Peter heals a beggar. It's found in Acts chapter three and four. Let's get started. One afternoon, Peter and John, two of Jesus' followers, went to the temple. It was time to pray. When they got there, Peter and John saw a man sitting by a gate. The man could not walk, so he could not work. Every day, the man's friends carried him to the temple where he sat outside. As people entered the temple, they walked by the man, and the man asked them for money. Peter looked at the man. He said to him, look at us. The man looked at Peter and John, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I don't have any silver or gold to give you, but I will give you. But what I do have, I will give you. Then Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, get up and walk. Peter reached out and helped the man up. All of a sudden, the man's feet and ankles were strong and he could walk. In fact, he started to leap. He went into the temple with Peter and John and he praised God. The people in the temple saw the man. Wasn't this a man who sat by the gate outside of the temple every day? The man who asked for money because he couldn't walk? Yes, it was the man and he was healed. How could such a wonderful thing happen? The people were amazed at what had happened. Can you see the picture of Peter helping the beggar up? The next day, the religious leaders got together. They asked Peter and John, how did you heal this man? By what power or in what name did you do this? Peter was filled with the Holy Spirit. He replied, we want all of you to know that this man was healed by the power of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You nailed Jesus to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. It is because of him that this man is healed. Peter told the religious leaders that they rejected Jesus because they thought he wasn't important, but he was the most important one of us all. The religious leaders were amazed. They did not know what to say. Then they ordered Peter and John to never preach or teach in the name of Jesus again. Peter and John replied, we cannot be quiet. We must tell people about what we have seen and heard. The religious leaders had no reason to punish Peter and John. So they let him go. Peter and John met with other believers and prayed that God would give them power and speak boldly and without fear. Thank you for joining us today at Preschool Junction at Home, and we're looking forward to seeing you again next week. Bye, friends.